Well, many thanks for joining us once again on the newsroom. I am Fola Shade Ogurinde. The presidency has assured Nigerians that the granting of pardon to two former governors, Joshua Darie, Jolly Inyama, and 157 others by the Council of State will not derail the ongoing anti-corruption fight of Mohamed Buhari's administration. The assurance is contained in a statement issued by the Senior Special Assistant to the President of Media and Publicity, Gaba Shehu in Abuja. The reaction from the presidency followed the outrage that had trailed the action by the president, which they said is a political move and encourages corruption in public offices. Hamed Baba Keita, senator representing Kassina North Senatorial District, has resigned his membership of the All Progressives Congress, APC. According to a statement released on Wednesday, Abdul Kader Lawal, the senator's aide, said Keita has joined the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Lawal said the PDP represents the ideals of the senator as a representative of the people. The all presidential aspirants from various political parties have been invited by the First Lady Aisha Buhari to Ramadan Ita dinner at the presidential villa on Saturday. The Vice President Yemi Oshimbaju and 17 other aspirants from the main opposition party, the People's Democratic Party PDP, including River State Governor Yesom Rike, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, and others in the ruling All Progressives Congress APC are expected to grace the occasion. The U.S. Justice Department has announced it will appeal a ruling that overturned a federal order requiring passengers to wear masks on aircraft, trains and other kinds of public transportation. Anthony Coley, the Justice Department's head of public affairs, disclosed this in a tweet on Wednesday. Earlier, a federal judge in Florida had ruled that the order mandating people to wear masks on public transportation is unlawful. Nigeria's external reserves rose by $243.83 million in 19 days, according to figures obtained from the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. The CBN revealed that in its data on movement in reserves, that the value rose from $39.54 billion as of April 1, 2022 to $39.78 billion as of April 19, 2022. A Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered his forces not to storm the last remaining Ukrainian stronghold in the besieged city of Mariupol on Thursday, but instead to block it so that not even a fly comes through. His defense minister Sergei Shogu said the rest of the city beyond the sprawling Azov store steel plant where Ukrainian forces were held has been liberated. Eric Ten Hag will leave Ajax to become Manchester United's manager next season. The English Giants confirmed on Thursday. The 52-year-old was signed a three-year contract, faces a huge task to revive the Red Devils' fortunes after a fifth consecutive trophy last season. The Dutchman becomes the fifth permanent manager at Old Trafford since Alex Ferguson's retirement in 2013 sent the 20-time English champions into decline. And that's it from the newsroom. Many thanks for watching. I am Fola Shadi. Ogurinde. Bye for now.